hey guys in this video i'll discuss about gold now you can see this is a gold 15 minute time frame and the gold price is continuously falling right so you can see here price was uh, 38,100 uh, almost 200 38,200 and then right now price is running 37,600 so you can say like that almost 1000 point drop down last day right so question is that can i go for buy or can i take sell position in the gold so before i start my name is deepen gogoi technical analyst of allies blue and if you want to know more about various type of trading analysis various type of trading strategy and uh, evening live market analysis so you just uh, visit to my uh, description page and you will find my another youtube channel you just uh, do subscribe and click the bell icon when i'm releasing video so suddenly you will get the notification so now you can see let me analyze whole market and keep uh, watching properly how i analyze this market so most important thing first the goal you can see continuously price continuously rising right so let me analyze from a large time frame so most of the people are thinking i'm a data or why it's important to analyze large time frame but remember it's your most important whatever you are trader like uh, scalp trading day trading swing trading positional trading so we need one thing and one in uh, one thing is uh, most important so what is that most important thing that is entry and exit point am i right yeah so for analyzing daily and weekly chart we will find out the entry and exit point that is why i analyzing right okay now let me show you what market behavior right now so we have seen here price was continuously pushing up right continuously price was pushing up so here we have seen some candle uh, you can say like long week candle most important thing remember long week candle and this is called long week candle or some people are say like inverted hammer right whatever you say all are right there is nothing wrong so now you can see let me tell you about the uh, candlestick uh, so how we can identify either they will break this resistance line or they will reverse from this area let me tell uh, one by one so let me give a simple example so we have seen the price push up and reverse from this area now we have seen a area of resistance right have you seen now first we have seen area of resistance forget this area was not forming at that time so you can see this is area of resistance right we have seen uh, that is area of resistance so when price is again pushing up toward the resistance line now you can say like that it might reverse from this area right it might reverse from this area right but they broke this area then how we identify they will break this area or not remember in my previous uh, webinar i told how to identify uh, most uh, i think that one most important five most important candlestick pattern in this webinar i explained that one so you can see price are pushing up pushing up they are creating uh, like more momentum candle that means you can say like more large candle right this was a candle and uh, this candle is more larger and this candle is more larger so most of the people are thinking this is body of this candle is uh, too small than comparatively that one but momentum of this candle is too high why they open in a gap down and push the price higher and close above that is most important thing remember so i'll tell okay i'll explain later properly how i identify that candle so uh, where was our resistance line there was a resistance line and the next candle was 
too big and broke this resistance when they form this type of candle then we confirm that price will continue got it that is the most important candlestick so after creating this hammer pattern inverted hammer pattern or you can say long wick candle so followed by a strong momentum bearish candle have you seen this one most important thing this is when they are forming this type of candle it is a symbol of trend reversal now most of the people are thinking here we have seen this is a weak candle weak candle weak candle so they are they will reverse from this area but high probability the price will break this supporting line why because after taking a long run they are always taking a rest remember otherwise they can't go continuously upside either downside so after taking a long rally toward the downside now they are taking a rest so suppose uh, i wanna say when you are running somewhere right very faster so after that can you do you think you can run again continuously with that momentum no you need some rest so we can say like that they are taking some rest if they are taking too much time to take rest they will run further remember there are logic and now you can see we have seen long bearish candles and we have seen this supporting line right so now let's check it daily time frame so when i'm explaining because it's a, taking more time so that is why i never explain that such thing because it's the most important thing so that is why i'm explaining some time so we have seen this is a long rally taking rest less risk and the long rally we have seen this momentum from this line from this area and again this area you can see this area and this area is a large moment sorry large momentum right in this candle and here we have seen they are reducing the momentum the force of speed toward the upside and price again drop down and again they are taking rest right now what they are forming according to your chart pattern so now they are trying to form a head and shoulder pattern, right? Have you got it? Shoulder, shoulder, and this is a head, right? This is a head, like that. And this is a big shoulder formed like that. This is a neck, got it? And now you can see this is a neck line, right? okay cool now let's check it either they will break this supporting line or resist uh, sorry a neckline you can say both of them you can say like that resist uh, neckline or you can say like that um, supporting line now according to daily candlestick pattern so let me show you just a minute <clears throat> let me zoom a little more now we have seen last three bullish candle have you seen first uh, they are forming a hammer candle candle second third and now you can see here was a opening and here was a closing and yesterday we have seen gap down and price drop down and close below this previous day's candle lower point event so when i calculate this candle right when i say this candle what is called this candle this candle call one oh sorry one black crow candlestick pattern now what is the logic behind that one what is the behavior what is the character of that candle so if you want to know more details in you just visit to allies blue page and iq are there and go to candlestick pattern and you will find this candlestick pattern whole behavior or you can visit to my website that is my personal website hornpuffy.com so you will go through their candle, uh, candlestick pattern you will find this candlestick pattern right 
So that is the most important. You, if you want to know, if, if you want to be a profitable or professional trader, so you must know everything. Right. So identify your proper trend. Right. Okay. All right. So now we have seen this is a neckline. So my question is that can I enter right now? Any direction for the buy or buy sell? For intraday, you can enter in between this area. For intraday, I'll I'll show you, right? But if you wanna take a hold your position two to three day or more than one week, so this is not your entry time. Then where is my entry time, right? So my entry time is here for the buy and entry time here for the sell entry point. Now I already told that they are forming this type of um, uh, weekly uh, long week candle inverted hammer pattern and a daily head and shoulder pattern which is a high probability go. But remember nobody never knows in which direction market will go. So I'm analyzing that is a high probability. There are no holy girl trading strategy who will give you 100% accurate, right? That is why all trading are probability and we are eliminating. We are uh, that probability we are making uh, like toward uh, our trading side, right? So that is the most important. So now we have seen this is our entry point for the sell and entry point for the buy so in between this area called no traded zone and here called people are using that FOMO what is the meaning of FOMO so yesterday I told fear of missing out so most of the people are thinking here I have seen almost thousand points are there how can I miss for intraday I'll show you because till I'm in daily time frame right and for the positional trading we must the way to break any one uh, like area they must break any one of this uh, between this line right either it will be resistant or either it will be support now let's check in a four hour time frame and this is four hour time frame and i think time is too long right so we have seen right now four hour we have seen this is the range right now and they're running in this area so let me draw and let me do quick analysis so because already 13 minutes gone so in between this area i draw another area by connecting pbs supporting line have you seen support support now become a support support multiple rejects on other support so in above this area we never take any sell position because this is called supporting zone have you seen zone so who people are trying to take buy position they must close for intraday i'm not talking about the position who people uh, are thinking to hold their position to, to up to till we go up to expire that contact right so if they break this level so definitely go for sell so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my another youtube channel for various uh, trading strategy so thanks for watching